here's the information that's given to us uh, about this problem, the biggest circle problem. Uh, we have a couple angles given to us. We also have some lengths, but I'm going to deal with those later. We have a, uh, also one arc down here at GB is 26. We have an angle 24 at angle IGA, um, the central angle of 30, and this uh, inscribed angle of 65 over at AHS. So we need to find all the angles. Now let's go for some easy ones. We also have to find all the arcs. Uh, this, since we know that AB and CD and EF are diameters, uh, AB and CD intersect here, making vertical angles easy. So this angle in here is 30. Um, they're, these are both central angles, so we know that their arcs are also 30. And this one down here is 30. Uh, we know that this inscribed angle is 24 uh, at IGA. So we know inscribed angles are half of their arcs. So that this arc better be 48, which its arc is IA, which we already have 30 and 48. So this must be 18 over here. Thinking further, uh, we have this uh, 26 here. So maybe I'm going to look for its central arc or cent central angle or inscribed arc. And I don't see that it has a uh, central angle, but I do see that it has an uh, inscribed angle here at angle B, A, B. So inscribed is half of the arc, so I know this is 13. Well, I see now, I see a triangle. I have a 30, 13, and what would finish me off here would be a 137, which would mean vertical angle here is 137. Linear pairs, that's 43, and that's 43. So a, a, a bunch of angles there. I know this uh, inscribed angle at AHS is 65, and the arc would be double that, which would be 130. Well, the arc would be arc ACIF, so that whole thing would be 130. So I have 30 and 18 already, so if I take 130 minus 30 is 100, 100 minus 18 gives me a total of 82 over here for this arc. And now I'm going to use the idea that AB is a diameter to fill in arc FG down here. Well, a diameter opens up to 180 degrees, so I'm going to do 180 minus the whole parts that I have over here. So 180 minus 30 is 150. 150 minus 18 gives me uh, 132. 132 minus 82 is going to give me 50. 50 minus 26 is going to give me that this is 24 in here. I also see up here at angle A, if I combine the 13 and the 50, I get 63 degrees, which makes a bigger included angle, or um, inscribed angle. And I know that the arc that that 63 opens up to has to be a total of 126. And if I take away 26, I get 100. If I take away 30, I get 70. So H, arc HD has to be 70, which also gives me my uh, uh, central angle right here is 70. And I can't say that this is a vertical angle and make that 70 because those are not the same line. There's actually uh, four different line segments that are making that up. Which reminds me to go back and look for other central angles here. Uh, this one next to the 30, uh, we see opens up to an arc of 24 and 26, which makes 50. So this one here must be 50 degrees. And then I see that I have a diameter at AB, which makes 180. I already have a 50 and a 30, which means that this angle here is 100. Which 
makes sense because its arc was 82, 18. So that makes that 100 valid. And since FE and AB were both uh, diameters, that means that they create vertical angles. So not only that one's shifty, but this one here is shifty, which also tells me that that's the central angle 50. So this up here, this arc is also 50, which leaves me with only one arc out of my whole circle left. And if I did the subtraction there, I would find out that EF arc is 30. And subsequently, so is its central angle. Now looking at my picture more uh, in a bigger picture, I see more triangles that I need to complete. Uh, over here to the left of AB, I see 143 in this triangle. So that means that this angle here would be 37. This vertical angle would be 37. Its linear pairs would be 143 and 143. So just filling in what I know. I also see this triangle over here with the 50s in it. 50 and 50 is 100, so that must mean that this is 80 and 80 and 100 and 100. Which also means that this 65 can now be broken up. And if I have 30 and 100, that means that this part of the 65 is 50. And this part down here is 15. Uh, if that's 15 and 70, then this is, that means 85, which means that this is 95 vertical angle here of 95, linear pair of 85 and 85. Now 115 completed would be 65 here and 65 here. So now we have, I see a quadrilateral in here, which 143, 50, and 85. If I take those three numbers away from 360, I should get that this one over here. Let's see. Yeah, 143, 50, and it shouldn't be 85. It should be 115. Sorry. 115 and 115 vertical angles there. If I take those three numbers away, This triangle down here would be 24 to 52. I get 104. I have to get the 104 here with the vertical angles. I get 76 with the linear pair here and here. Complete that quadrilateral. I can now say that that's 119 here and 119 here. Complete the linear pair there. I get 61. That triangle with 104 and 61, I get that this bottom angle here is 15, which is confirmed by EH's arc of 30. Uh, complete, let's see, what else can I complete? Since 24, FG is 24, its inscribed angle is half of that, which is 12. 12 and 19, and this angle down here would have to be 49 to complete my triangle 180. So that's 119 and that's 61. The vertical over here is 61. Now our picture is looking pretty full now. I'm just going to take a moment to review what we've done this uh, last week to kind of check our work here. I'm going to take the, this line right here and this line right here. I'm going to check the angles that it opens up to. Check this one, and I'm going to check this one over here. And they should average together to give me this angle of 104 if we did it correctly. So if we have 82 plus uh, 70, 30, and 26 makes 126, and I average them and 
divide by 2 here, you see I should get, and I do, 119. So that works. We did that correct. correctly. I'm also going to check FB and this one over here. Just kind of check it work real quick. Uh, so let's see, FB is 24 and uh, 18, 30, 50, and 30 makes uh, 128. So I average those two together and I do get a total of 76. So that's really good. We did that part correct. I want to take another color and do the same thing just to double check some of my work here. Uh, let's pick another two chords. Uh, this chord and this chord. And if we did it correctly, we should get 143 and 37 out. So let's just check. Uh, we still have 24 for the FG plus, uh, let's see, the 50 for AE. Divide that by 2. I do get uh, 74 divided by 2. is 37 so that works and then if I check the other one off that I got uh, let's see I have this whole thing here which is uh, 82 18 is 100 130 plus uh, let's see this one down here 26 56 126, 156, and I average those together, and I do get a total of uh, 143. So, looks like we did all these angles correctly, and now we got to do is go back and fill in all our variances. Now I'm going to start talking about the other good new information that we have and how it relates to the segments that we need to define. So if you look, we were given PC, I'm gonna highlight PC here. We're gonna give, given that that one was 3.4, and we need to define uh, what PD is equal to eventually. So I'm gonna highlight that in the same color. And we are also given that PI, idea of a two secant lines meeting up uh, at a point outside of the circle, how, how I always do it is what part is outside the circle times the total of that side equals the outside part times the total of the outside uh, of the other secant line. So in, case, in our case, it would be PI times PF equals PC times PD. And if we plug in the numbers that we know, PI is 4.5, PF is a total of 15, PC is 3.4, and PD we don't know yet. So if we solve for PD, we should get, we should get a total of PD is equal to 19.5. Five two nine dot dot dot, uh, which if we follow the directions, it says to round to the nearest whole number when appropriate. So PD we're going to let be twenty. So if PD the whole distance is twenty, and we take away the three point four and round it, we should get that the diameter for CD and actually all the diameters uh, AB CD and EF are all sixteen rounded appropriately, which would mean that the radius, uh, all the radii, OF, OH, OE, uh, OA, uh, all eight, and that finishes our problem.